日本語を勉強しましょう。Let's study Japanese alphabet. I want to learn Japanese. What should I do first? Study Hiragana, Japanese alphabet. Knowing Hiragana is essential. It's the key tool for accessing study materials. This textbook, for example, is for beginners. But I just want to understand anime and speak with friends. Do I still have to study the alphabet? Hiragana will be a big help in listening and pronunciation. The chart displays the basic 46 characters of the Japanese alphabet, known as hiragana. There are 46 hiragana, and each character represents a single sound, with five vowels, 40 combinations of consonants and vowels, and one standalone consonant. Despite the number of characters, the systematic combinations of sounds make learning hiragana relatively straightforward. Each hiragana character represents one sound. Additionally, each hiragana character also represents one beat. All hiragana characters are pronounced with the same length of beat. So, for example, a word with two hiragana characters have two beats, and a word with three hiragana characters have three beats. You might have noticed while listening to Japanese people speaking that it feels flatter compared to your own language. This is because the rhythm of Japanese progresses with the same consistent beat, similar to the rhythm of a march. Two hiragana word Ai. Ai. Three hiragana word. Aoi. Aoi. Okay, but do I need to know how to write them? Right now, no. Focusing on reading hiragana instead of spending time writing them is more efficient. And do you really want to write them? You want to type them instead, right? Typing in Japanese is very systematic and easier than you may think. What about kanji? People say it's hard to learn. It is hard, but kanji helps a lot when you read sentences because kanji represents meanings, not sounds. This is how Japanese writing system works. Here we have a sentence that says, I play games every day. The purple part represents every day, the green part represents games, and the blue part represents to play. Now you can see three different types of Japanese scripts. The most complex one shown in purple is kanji. The first kanji means every, and the second kanji means day. Together they mean every day. So, Kanji represents meaning rather than pronunciation. On the other hand, hiragana in blue and katakana in green represent pronunciation. Each letter represents just a sound, and the set of letters conveys meaning. Once you learn each letter, you'll be able to read hiragana and katakana parts, even if you don't know the meaning. The difference between hiragana and katakana lies in their usage. Hiragana is used for Japanese origin words. While katakana is used for non Japanese origin words. As you begin learning Japanese, you'll encounter many katakana words that sound like English, French, or other languages. Let's go deeper into kanji. We have three different kanji here, all pronounced as kami. Despite sharing the same pronunciation, each kanji carries a different meaning. The first one represents paper, the second one represents god, and the last one represents hair. Even though they share the pronunciation, they have totally different meanings. Now imagine you want to write paper in Japanese. Without kanji, it's unclear which kami you've meant. However, once you incorporate kanji, the meaning becomes unmistakable. Therefore, once you've become comfortable reading hiragana and katakana, don't hesitate to begin studying kanji. Now, let's study hiragana. In this video, we will focus on the vowels, which are the foundation of Japanese pronunciation and alphabets. We will cover the other parts of hiragana, 
in upcoming videos. These are the vowels in Japanese. A, I, U, E, O, A, I, U, E, O. And in Japanese, the Latin alphabet used to represent pronunciation is called Romaji or Roman characters. Memorizing the corresponding Romaji for hiragana is essential for typing. I read them from left to right. A, I, U, E, O. A, I, U, E, O. Let's practice now. The pronunciation guide is in the balloon. Now repeat after me. A, 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 E, E, E. Now, let's try to recall the sound that you just heard. Forgetting is not a bad thing. You need to repeat the process of forgetting and relearning to full memorize. Just try. I will pronounce it after a few seconds. Now let's challenge. Can you read these? That's E U E A O E U E A O. Let's practice a bit more. What is this?
一。Now let's take on the word reading challenge. Can you read these words? The first one. Ie. Ie. Ie means house. How about this one? This is a o a o a o means blue, and those two hiragana a and o look similar, but o has a floating line here. Okay, next one. This is. U e u e u e means up or above. Now the last one. A i a i a i in Japanese means love. Now that you are familiar with the Japanese writing system and how to pronounce Japanese vowels, you are ready to dive into practicing hiragana reading in our next video. The free PDF of the hiragana chart is available. Please download it from the link below. Thank you for watching. Arigatou gozaimashita. また勉強しましょう。